I don't have the experience of like all humans are trash. Critter head. I don't want. I don't want any raccoon teams. I don't want any raccoon streets. I don't want any raccoon flags because I know what that means. That's that means. You know, when you find yourself in a historical district, you know. It seems like I'm beaming in from the land of the Egungo and the ancestral body today. My neck doesn't need to be able to carry my head out to defy the laws of physics. That's right. Somebody else can carry it, goddammit. That's right. <laughs> God carry my head. <laughs> they named the street after me, though. Uh, yeah, I know, man. I was just going to say, it's like, it's cold game. From unseated alone territory. It's hard out here yeah. to escape fucking disaster capitalism as a as a human or a critter, turns out. Actually, y'all, this is some new weird shit. I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> but I can the, hold you. Like, come holler at, you know what I'm saying, the people who are still in touch with before this cancer and the animals and the plants who never left it um, to meet what's here now. It's really like this is a quilombo for critter heads, you know? Critter head quilombo. Mm, thought you knew. <laughs> the outer limit of our vision is not the horizon, you know? It goes further than that from what we can see. And so right now that quilombo isn't uh, a physical space I spend much time in. Maybe there are moments of, of sensation, but you know, I see it. I see it and I can definitely feel it sometimes. So we always, you know, following the ley lines to freedom, to mm -hmm. belonging, to an ecology that we can we can thrive in. Could her head Kilumbo. Mm, thought you knew. Wildlife cam. <laughs> I started downloading some gifs of strange animal headed people. It's hard to find people of color with animal heads on them, which is both comforting and discomforting at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's is deep in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Critterhead Colombo. Uh, <laughs> Critterhead Colombo. I feel like we need to call them home in a lot of ways, and and like you said, they're most of them don't even need a call. Most of them need the boot off of their neck so they can answer the call. Right. What's up with the um the Baina uh the Baina dish you were talking about? Truffles? That's right, little little bay recipe from these two bay nuts here. What's up? <laughs> if you in the bay, don't make the spot hot though. In the fall, you can harvest the fruit of the bay laurel tree. Um, and then you have a bay nut truffle. And that's one of the most amazing experiences, especially if you're a bay nut yourself to harvest from the land like that. I love how my tongue is sticking out right now, too. That's right. Ah. Uh... Could have had Colombo. <laughs> the capacity for humans to mimic is part of what gives them such power you know they can fly they can go deep into the ocean they can kind of do whatever they see us doing use that mimicry to mimic symbiotic relationship and sustainable ecology better <laughs> these humans project a lot they already are all the time talking about how grimy we are oh fuck y'all are the grimiest right me they got rid of most of their fur 
Right. And they thought they were clean. And, <laughs> but, but you know, so. Started shitting in their own water. Right? Clean water. Clean water. Clean water. Who? What kind of animal shits in clean water? Flush down for what? <laughs> wow. wow. But I make a habit of shitting in their water when I get the opportunity. <laughs> so, Thanks. Little, you know, little acts of resistance. That's right. Game recognized game, I guess. <laughs> I'm just imagine in all the moments of your blessings, the humans arriving to their clean water filled with raccoon shit and being disgusted, not realizing the irony. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs>